Hello, welcome back to all of you. This is going to be first uh, YouTube lectures on uh, which I'll be covering about to three Python library. So here you can use your Python to access your Amazon Web Services. So there is a uh, Amazon Web Services uh, has released an SDK. It is known as a Boto3. Earlier it was a Boto2, but now it's a Boto3. So before installing Boto3, you need to install the pif. So right there is the install pif. I have already installed. That's why it is telling it's uh, already fulfilled almost all requirements. Now you need to install the Python. So install uh, pip install python 2 so i have already uh, installed the python that's why it uh, collected the packages and said that uh, uh, python 2 has been successfully installed okay fine so now we need to install the boto3 library and uh, you can install the boto3 just write there pip install boto3 so it will collect the packages and it will install the Boto3 in very short time. Fine. So Boto3 has been installed and uh, now let's uh, install few more uh, Amazon Web Services uh, AWS command line tool. I would like to. So you can write there the pip install AWS CLI and uh, it will. Uh, install AWS command line interface. So however, I have already installed that. That's why it is telling almost all requirement has been already fulfilled. Right. So before using AWS, we need to configure it with access key ID and the secret access key. So AWS configure, I have already configured it, but I would like to also show you how you can configure it. Right. So you can configure it, uh, uh, you need to go into the IAM, it's an identity access manager and uh, then uh, it's something like that you can provide a user to access some services in your Amazon web services. So add a new user, I am naming it as a YouTube and attach existing policies and here I'm providing administrator access so that the YouTube user can access almost all features of AWS from my account right so after creating the users then you would get their access key ID and the secret access key so you need to copy here access key and then paste it here so it will automatically update the access key and now you need to copy the secret key from there and then it will update AWS secret access key and I am using a default region that is AP South 1. It's a Mumbai in India. Right. So AWS credential has been successfully uh, set up here. Now let's check. Okay. So type the Python and go into the Python command shell. And you need to first import the Boto3 library, loop Boto3 module into your Python script. So let's create a client using a Boto3. So it's could be the S3 equal to the Boto3 dot resource S3. So here I'm creating a resource. In fact, uh, uh, I'm not creating a client here. So it's S3 is equal to the Boto3 dot resource S3. Now we can find out how many uh, buckets are listed in my account. So for bucket in S3 dot bucket dot all. So it will go uh, uh, throughout all the buckets and then you need to press a there a tab button and then you can print here so i'm printing my bucket dot name so the name of the all bucket would be printed here so just double enter and you will see there there are seven buckets are listed there and uh, let's verify it with my ews account uh, I'll show you there uh, seven buckets are already listed. Uh, I have created on my AWS account. So in the services, click on the S3 and then it will take a little bit time to load. And uh, here you can find out these are the seven AWS uh, S3 buckets I have already created. Right. So there are many regions also I have created into the US East, Asia Pacific, uh, in Japan and in India, right. 
so now i would like to stop this tutorial here and stay tuned for the next one so i'll be covering complete boto 3 python library tutorial in this tutorial series so subscribe this channel so that you can directly get update in your inbox thank you